it's you, you print loads of money and money is going to be worthless. Not worthless. I got in trouble doing that one time with CNBC because I said it was going to be worth separately less, but the, got contracted down to worthless. <laughs> so I, I it took me a few years to learn <laughs> to separate those words somehow. Uh, anyway, that's everything I know about economics and more, and Charlie can probably improve on it. <laughs> well, it, it happened on a scale this time we'd never seen before. Those checks that were just mailed out to everybody who claimed to have a business and claimed to have employees, they, they, they probably drowned the country in money for a while. And, they, and as you say, they probably had to do it. But it, it was something that had never been done on that scale before. But we had a problem we hadn't had before. Yes. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't a good no, idea. It, I mean, in my book, Jay Powell's a hero. I mean, it's very, very simple. I mean, he did what he had to do. You know, when, when the, if he had done nothing, it would be the, I mean, he would be, uh, you know, it would be very easy to engage in what you would call thumb sucking then. And plenty of, I shouldn't say plenty of, but there are other Fed chairmen that would have been sucking their thumbs and the world would have fallen around them and nobody would have exactly blamed them. They would have blamed the, the virus and the Chinese and all kinds of things.